Virtual Formula One comes to Shanghai with the racing organization, organization's eSports China Championship. CDTN's Wu Lei brings us the lowdown on the final competition. Speed, skill, and passion define Formula One racing, and these reasons extend to its eSports series. Ten Chinese teams are racing in the grand final. Competitor Yuan Yifan has been crowned annual driver champion. And after an intense battle, BT team has made history, winning the Pro League. The secret is to improve your practice and exercise, pay close attention to details, and remain flexible in real games. Launched in 2019, the championship has attracted over 50,000 individual contestants, as well as 2,000 professional teams over the past season. It might not seem all that difficult to play a racing game like this, but the pros say if you want to get to the top, you do better think twice. Years of training, patience, and an investment of time and money are all necessary. As esports develops, people are understanding more about the sector. It's not simply video games. I hope this kind of simulator-based esports game will have a bright future. Recent numbers from China's Game Publishing Committee or GPC: actual sales revenue for the country's esports gaming market reached over 136 billion yuan or 20 billion U.S. dollars in 2020, up 44 percent from 2019. It's not easy to hold such events right now. We asked everyone to take nucleic acid test. After this Formula One event, we are considering introducing another new esports game. And with traditional sporting events largely delayed or cancelled due to COVID-19, more people are playing and watching esports. With the GPC report registering over 480 million esports gamers last year, we will continue to improve innovation of the content and technology of the sector to make Shanghai an international capital of esports. In December 2020, the Olympic Council of Asia announced esports will be included in the 2022 Asian Games in the eastern Chinese city of Hangzhou. Another opportunity for global brands to get Chinese consumers hooked on digital sports. Wu Lei, CGTN, Shanghai.